It was the beginning of the first century after Christ when the Roman legions returned triumphant to Aquileia. Their hard-earned victory against the tribes of Illyria and Pannonia was accredited to the strategy of the Roman tribune Aulus Cecina. But by the tribune's own admission, victory would not have been theirs were it not for the great courage of an unknown centurion called Arminius. Arminius was of Germanic origin, born in the Black Forest just beyond the Rhine. Attracted by the glories of the empire, he left his homeland to soldier under the banner of the Roman legions. Through his noble deeds, he gained the right to Roman citizenship and the profound admiration of his superior, Aulus Cecina. But destiny chose this man from the north to shake the foundations of the empire. Arminius, the greatest threat to Rome since the days of Hannibal. Arminius, the man who opened a new horizon for his people. The first leader in recorded history to teach the Germanic tribes the righteous privilege of liberty. As willed and decreed by the Senate in the name of Rome, for their particular dedication, for deeds of valor exercised within the enemy's camp, I, Drusio, son of Tiberius, bestow the Praetorian Sword of Honor upon Marbud, chief of the Marcomans, and the centurion Arminius, our faithful ally. Gratitude, Arminius. Stop. Where are you going? Answer. I will not favor his race with my presence. He's a Roman, like you, and a man of great honor. Regret this. Enough! Not I, but the Senate will judge your action.
I hope you will forget the incident. All Rome awaits to pay you homage, Arminius. No, Drusio. I can't stay here. It's not only his insult. No matter what I do, men of his kind will never tire in belittling my kin. Can't I return to my, to my land once again? That is your right. Decided. I have. I'm sorry, Cecina. I think your your reaction is unjust. We're your friends. You know that. <laughs> they call me the barbarian. They've called me worse. Is my blood sufficient reason to instill such hatred? I know you as a Roman soldier. It's not enough. No, Cessna. It's farewell. And, uh, thank you. Are you going to the Black Forest? I don't know. How long will you be gone? Forever. You're Suggestus, aren't you? Yes, I am. And who am I? I'm afraid I don't know. I'm Arminius, from the tribe of Karush. Arminius? You, Arminius? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Young Arminius, it's been so long now that my memory is clouded. <laughs> oh. Tell all that tonight we celebrate in honor of our friend, the Karushian Arminius. <laughs> now come. Is your daughter Lunelda? Uh, she's at the Roman Tower. Hmm. I'll have someone call her. Don't bother. <laughs>
بابا معلوم نبود. یا آنه نیاز So. You've been gone for years. I was only 16 then. You recall the promise we made? Right here at the tower. We used words like... through life and through... death. I waited so long for you. Now... I promise to someone else. Don't go. Wait. Lunella. Why did you? It's my father's will. My son envied you for years, but now he's ready to follow you like a slave. <laughs> we are pleased to have you among us. You've brought great honor to our tribes. Pride is in our hearts. To your glory, Arminius. And to yours. Arminio. To Arminius. Rome must be a world of wonders for a tribesman. Yes, I learned a great deal from them. They know how to live, and they know how... How to enslave. These are the things they taught me. Plunder, war, humiliation. These are the wonders of Rome. What's come over you? This is the only northern tribe that is still respecting Roman domain, that pledges allegiance to a reign of cruelty that accepts to be called barbaric and unfit, unworthy of being free. Unification is the only answer I know of. Let us forget our differences and unite our tribes. It's the only way to subdue the Romans. You're insane, Arminius. That's enough. Overstayed my welcome. Farewell. It's better this way, Lunelda. Let him go. of you. Take me away. Oh, please, Arminius.
Borrow awaits you. Hail, Sir Justice. I thank you for receiving me, noble Varro. You came just in time. As you know, we're about to leave for our winter camp. But first, I would have come to your village for the usual celebration. <laughs> come. What brings you, Sir Justice? I've come to tell you that if your troops pull out for the winter, Varro, then this whole region is threatened. <laughs> in that case, it's threatened by the great god Thor. <laughs> I assure you, Sir Justice, you have no cause for alarm. And what do you say, Pomonius? You're always so well informed. Do you think the gods' wrath is on us? The gods never threaten. But men do. I'm sure you've heard of the Karushi tribesman called Arminius. Well, he's returned and is stirring our tribes to revolt. Arminius. But he's still a Roman centurion. You're mistaken. He renounced Rome and is now convincing our leaders to follow his example. My daughter, Varro, is in his hands. You can't leave now, Varro. If you do, Arminius will gain control of this fortification. It would mean the end for us. You must remain. But you know I can't. I will leave a short garrison with you, but these legions must depart before winter. I have no alternative. May the gods be with you. Let us preserve our friendship forever. Lie to the gods for gold. <laughs> I can't agree with your foolish ideals, but I admire your your sincerity. <laughs> I sent for you thinking you might have some information. Ah, information, you say? Well, that's only a question of price. <laughs> what will it cost to know what route Barrow is taking? I don't know what you're talking about. Will his legions take the mountain roads or go through the marshes of Teoto Burgas? Mm, that's something only Varro can know. Mm? Listen to me, Pomonius. For years you've been selling information and selling it indiscriminately, even at the expense of your own Romans. You're a traitorous usurer. Mm. Who knows what Varro would do if he found out you came here to me? Pomonius. Varro is sure to discover your game before long. <laughs> I expect to be compensated first. We have always paid. We have always been the ones to suffer your treachery. You tell me what I want to know before you're paid. I'm waiting. Varro will go through the marshes. You should cover your ambition. I think it's beginning to stink. The information better be correct for your own sake. You've undoubtedly asked yourselves why I summoned you here. My desire is to see you organized under one flag, united, together. Join for one great purpose, for liberty. To shed the yoke of Roman domination. To reclaim the land we walk upon. Yes, to reclaim our sacred homeland. And to this end, 
we must unify our tribes. There lies our strength. One force united to strike at the Roman despot. How can you pronounce such words of folly? Rome is powerful. Even if you do capture a few legions, you will be exposing us to bloodshed and death. If you're not ready to die before giving in to the Romans, you've no cause to remain here. You seem to have forgotten what we owe to Rome. There is no discontent among our tribes. No, Arminius, no. You want personal vengeance. Well, are you with me then? Legions headed by Varro will begin the journey to their winter camp tomorrow. They have two ways out. They can go through the mountains or else cut here through the swamps of Teoto Burgas. Exactly where we'll be waiting for them. I want close contact between columns. As you wish, Consul. Excuse me if I insist. But I would avoid the marshes. They're dangerous. I know, but it's the shortest route, Captain. And time is against us. Gollum, march! All bridges are just ahead of you, Consul. Uh -huh. They seem to be pretty well intact. You're fortunate. The last time they were used was at least two years ago when Druzio came through Germany. Make certain the main trunks can sustain the weight of our cuts. They'll be checked before dawn. Oh. I think it's better if you double the guard tonight and tell the German guides that we march at dawn. You come with me. Consul, what is it? The guides have disappeared.
We'll leave without them. March on! Keep to the center. Get moving and keep to the center. <laughs> I'm so hungry, it's a wonder I can walk at all. Where are we going, anyway? You'll find out when you get there. Come on.
Let me get him. Not yet. I want him to tell Rome what happened here. Let's go! Hey! No, Tiberius. I cannot accept Varro's blunder. His gross misjudgment reflects upon us and the Empire. The Battle of Actium. Mark Antony's fleet succumbed to the might of Rome. All of them did. Sextus Pompey. His armies were destroyed. We brought peace then. We built, we taught. We civilized. Did it serve no purpose at all? Herein, all my life is recorded. Caesar Octavius and the glories of Rome. Tiberius, how shall I end this tome? By saying that it was during the reign of Caesar Octavius when the Roman eagle was felled? No, never. <laughs> Take my riches. Withdraw our legions from the Orient. Even free the slaves. Let us rehabilitate Rome's glory. Let us put an end to this Arminius. It shall be done. Go. Have your orders. You will head the veteran troops of Caesar Octavius. You are to lead them into Germany and avenge the consul Varro. To you, my friend. Tell the Emperor I'll be worthy of the faith he has placed in me.
Her name is Livia. Her father was Varro's counselor. You must have heard of Pomonia. Are you tired? If you care to return, I can give you an escort. No. Where are we going to camp? Wherever you like. All right? We'll go on. Come. Tomorrow we should reach our destination, and your suffering will be over. I'm not afraid of suffering. I was born in Rome, Sibura, raised in the midst of poverty. For years, my father labored in the markets of Marcellus. When did you last see him? It was five years ago, when my mother died. He always wanted to be rich. He suffered all the indignities of his lot, but he fought, and he won. Why do you tell me this? I don't know why. Good night, Counsel. Good night. On the other edge of the woods is Teatro Burgas. I think we ought to leave now if we're going to get there before night. Take over command. W what? Go to the fort right away. But... It's an order. Escort! March! Forward!
Hatta ne yapıyor ben? Aulus. Aulus Sessina. I didn't know it was you. Now you know it. Why did you come here? This is all that's left of Varro's might. After me, others will come. And still others. You can't win. You can despise me, and you can hate Rome. But you'll not destroy her. No. I haven't forgotten that you were my friend. Perhaps you still are. Now, at last, I can return the favor by letting you free. We're even. Allow me to give you good counsel. Don't ever cross the Rhine. We're ready to cut your legions into bits should they invade our territory. We'll meet again. I hope not for your own good. He went to Thea to Burgas. Oh. I think he went there to honor Varro and the legions we lost there. Mm. I see. At least... You made it through the winter. We were fortunate. If Arminius had wanted, he could have taken this fort and everything in it. <laughs> <laughs> So, you look just like your mother, and she was very beautiful. Oh, I almost forgot. Mother gave me this before she died. She made me promise I would give it to you the moment I saw you. Do you know what it is? Mm-hmm. Your wedding gift. It's nothing. have returned. Oh. Their legion is commanded by Aulus Cessna. Had they sent anyone else, I'd have killed them. Will there never be peace for us? Yes. When we'll have rid this land of the enemy out. Only when he's out, and he's gone! Then we'll have peace. Don't, don't torture yourself, my love. You're tired now. You're not altogether wrong. 
Desiring liberty is a form of torture. It's a way of condemning yourself, Lunelda. Love liberty and you'll be damned. Condemned! <laughs> Your brother was right. I must be mad. Sigmund can help you. If you'll let me go to him, I can convince him. I'm sure of it. Consul Cessna. Uh. No, Baron, no. It's Pomodius. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Get some rest. I'll stay with him. Let me know just as soon as he awakens. He was delirious all night. Don't tie yourself too much, my dear. Father? Hmm? While delirious, he mentioned your name, and Varro. He said, don't trust Pomonius, and spoke of betrayal. Oh? Why did he rave on so? The effects of a fever. Now you're hiding something from me, aren't you? All my life you've been hiding things from me. You're afraid of the Consul. You avoid him constantly. What's happened to you? I have a right to know. I've hidden very little from you, Livia. You're one of the most envied women in Rome. Did you ever ask yourself why? Did you ever ask yourself how your father was able to amass so much wealth? With these hands, yes, with these hands, Livia. But when you handle gold too long, they become dirty. I admit that I took advantage of my position as magistrate. But I would never have imagined that I would be the cause of Varro's... his... I never thought that Arminius would go through with this threat. Livia, whatever I've done was always for your benefit. And I know I would do it again if it were necessary. Oh, I'll confess if you want. It's, it's your happiness I care about. I'll never know happiness again.
Am I intruding? Ah, yeah, Correa, come in. Ah. Authentic, eh? You better be careful. They'll take you for a tribesman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of tribes, the Thorins are now together with the Karush. The Tundri are marching to reach Amenius' stronghold, and the Kruins have been placed systematically along the Rhine. Looks like they have no intention of moving. Exactly. Then we'll move. What? We? Mm. Why not? We can't stand still forever. And what about Suggestus? We have to convince him to fight against Arminius. We leave tomorrow. Curio, prepare an escort. Correa, you'll remain here at the fort. I'm at my father's camp. That's home for me now. Where are you going? The interior. The black forest. Beyond the Rhine. Again? It's necessary. Lunelda has arrived. It's best that you wait here, Consul, until she leaves again. We'll wait in the forest. Forward! refusing to help Arminius. You're denying your own race and denying a just cause. You're denying your own blood. A sense of shame is what you've learned from Rome. I leave you, Father, without respect. Our guards have left the village. You can go in now. Curio. You ready? Mm-hmm. Then I'll go ahead. You take the girl to the fort. If all goes well, we'll see each other there. Good luck.
agree to help you, then Arminius will waste no time in attacking this camp. The time has come. We promised Arminius that, that we'd not war against him. You can't ask one to go against his own race. Varro was betrayed by a Roman. We remained loyal. Pomonius will be punished. Good day. I wish you good fortune. You'll need it. I'm sorry, but I must keep you here as a hostage. Don't forget, Aldo Cecina. You're holding the bride of one who was your closest friend. This war, you seem to forget, was not started by me. You've never known the chains of slavery. You never heard one say he's a barbarian. Can't you sense the humiliation you've brought us? When you're oppressed, your every breath is always a desperate cry for liberty. You're a Roman, a free man. Not Arminius. Can't you understand that he had to provoke this war? Whether right or wrong, Arminius was very fortunate to have found a woman like you. I was waiting for you, Council. My time has come. You have a choice, Pomonius. A choice. To die in front of my legionnaires or by your own hand. Choose. I didn't expect you to be lenient, Consul Cessina. The thought of death doesn't frighten me at all. If you could grant just a few hours, I'll be able to atone for my mistakes. I know you're holding Glunelde in your camp as a hostage. I'm aware of your plans, Consul. I can help you. Give me this one chance to redeem myself. You'll not regret it, Aulus. I could never have guessed the extent of Arminius' insanity. Do you know that he blackmailed me into secrecy? I, too, have a score to settle with him. Aulus, please believe him. Please. If we should ever come out of this hell alive, you will never hear from us again, I promise. <laughs>
council. The men are restless, and the Centurions are having trouble keeping order. Consul, you must release the German girl. By keeping her here, we're running a great risk. Segestus was murdered. Now Arminius and his tribes are sure to attack us next. Is that your opinion? It's mine, and also theirs. We march tomorrow. What? But you, you can't mean that. It's your death. It's an order. Forgive us. We're not lacking courage, Council. It's, it's just that the... The risk is great, I know. But we'll just have to take it. You'll make sure that everyone leaves the fort. Everyone. Arminius will attack our camp only to find an unpleasant surprise. He'll find an empty fort. He'll find a trap. A beautiful trap. One that will make him wish he had died at Tail to Burgas. you said last night, that if you lived through this, you would go away forever. Yes. Well then, well then, I'll come with you. I'm so afraid, Corio. He'll be all right. I promise you. Little one. You understand why I can't come with you, don't you? Will we always live apart? No. Not for long. No. We're ready to leave, Consul. Good. Oh. Consul, perhaps it would be best if, if I were to remain at the fort in your place. Why do you say that? Do you think that I'm a coward? No, Consul. It's just that... Then do as I say. be with you, Aulus. And with you.
gate, Coolio. I'm sorry, Consul. I'm warning you, Coolio. Look, it's too late, Consul. This fort will be ablaze. None of us has a chance. Yes, I know. That's why I'm here. Tell Centurion Cletus that you're one of us. on top of the Palisades. Hurry! They're just sitting there. They're not moving. They must be waiting for us to attack. Coolio, at last. Then it's time. First, we'll use the ram.
send them in. Arminius and his men are drawn up in battle order. Foot soldiers are backed by the cavalry. They've started to ram the gates. How far back is the cavalry now? About 70 stadia. Where's Arminius? Surrounded by his barbaric tribal chieftains. It looks as if he has no intention of using his cavalry. No, he's just biding his time. Let me know the moment they force the gates open. And Arminius himself has entered the fort. Yes, Consul. Thank <laughs> you. 
Consul. Arminius has made his move. Consul, they've ran through the gates. He's already entered. Then we're ready to counterattack.
Turn to your people and tell them that their lives and traditions shall never be stifled by the protection of Rome. May the protection of Rome be the force that unites us. finally quelled the conflict that ravaged their most northern province, and in so doing gave birth to the legend of Arminius, the Carusian tribesman whose whole life was dedicated to the unity of his people. The legend of Arminius, still sung in ballads as old as the oaks of the Black Forest.